we're gonna dig in the differences between the Noctua NH-D15 G2 versus the Liquid Freezer 3 360. In this video, we'll cover the key differences in the looks, insulation, and then jump into the performance. These two high-performing coolers offer some of the best cooling on the market. The NH-D15 G2 is a dual-tower cooler with two 140mm fans. With the Liquid Freezer 3 360, it's a 360mm AIO with three 120mm fans. For each cooler, you need to ensure you have enough room in your case to handle their dimensions. In regards to insulation, these two coolers offer industry standards in regards to the insulation process for the respective cooler type. However, the NHD15 can be difficult to place inside the case due to its size, and some have found the Liquid Freezer 3 pump to be difficult to secure to the motherboard. We know you're here to see how these two coolers differ in terms of performance, so let's dig into it. We've tested both coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures, and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks performance normalized by percent speeds, and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by the dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Noctua NH-D15 G2 in blue has somewhat performance relative to the Liquid Freezer 3 360 in red. As we increase the wattage to 105 watts, we can observe that the Liquid Freezer 3 has better performance at the lower RPMs, but this difference shrinks to minimal levels as the fans approach 100% fan speed. Additionally, the Liquid Freezer 3 is noticeably louder at the lower RPMs due to the pump. However, the Noctua has overall higher noise levels at the higher RPMs. It's important to note that the pump on the Liquid Freezer 3 was set at 100% speed, so this can be reduced when high performance isn't required. When we push the CPU to overclock levels of 130 watts, we can see that this trend holds. Next, we'll look at the noise normalized charts, but don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers have similar performance for a given noise level. As we increase the wattage to 105 watts, we can see that both coolers offer similar performance at comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the Arctic Freezer 3 pulls ahead slightly. And if you're curious on how the Noctua NHD15 G2 compares to the first generation Noctua NHD15, you should check out this video comparing these two coolers. 